Hey grade 10, today we're going to be working on an isometric drawing for you guys. Please move. I know you want to sit under the desk. Okay, so we're going to work on an isometric with you guys. So there's a couple of rules you need to know about isometric before you actually start drawing an isometric. And the first rule is that um, we always draw isometric in third orthographic projection. So that is the symbol right here. Okay, and you will see that with that symbol, it means that we label our drawings like this over here. So we have our top view, our front view, our right view, an angle of 45 degrees, our 45 degrees over here, and our left view. So 9 out of 10 times when you get a drawing, you'll normally get top front and right orientation which you can actually see on the drawing over here so this will be front I mean front sorry guys this one will be top this one will be front and this one will be your right over here okay and then it'll be the same for this one here so this will be the top view the front view and the right view as well so you'll see that it's in little blocks there are little blocks and that there's a paper here so in grade 10 you guys get um a little booklet with this kind of paper so this is an isometric drawing grid and this is just to get you guys used to drawing an isometric because obviously it's new to you guys okay so we're going to start by drawing this one and i'm going to show you what to look out for so if you have a look at the right view over here, you'll see that it's completely flat, except for the only lines that you see here are hidden detail lines. This means that it's right up against um, the back. There's no holes or anything like that. So to describe it to you or to show you, it will look like this. So you're going to have your drawing grid. You're going to draw one, two, three down because there's obviously three blocks. And you're going to draw three across. And you will notice that the ruler that I'm using has got 30 degrees on it and your drawing over here goes perfectly 30 degrees, okay? And then you'll draw one block up. Did I leave enough space? Just, just enough space, thank goodness, okay. So there you'll draw one up, you'll draw two down from here and one across. So if you have a look here, that will be your one across and you will draw that to cover so you'll see that you've got the same shape as you do over here so now why do we have these dash lines that's because there's hidden detail so let's have a look at the front view and see kind of why that works in so if you have a look at the front view you see these two blocks and they've got lines at the top here and the middle doesn't have a line at the top these blocks here mean that this is right in the front so i'm just like coloring it in so you guys can see these blocks are touching right at the front so if we had to draw that in it would look like this you would have one block over there a space because obviously if you have a look here there's space and you would draw a space over there so that you have that and then if we draw our block in you will have a line over here a line over here again you're going to draw line leave a space draw a line leave a space and then you will have a line going down like that so you'll see okay so now that we've drawn that in it's kind of starting to make sense but there's still a little bit of confusion so here we have a look at these dash lines again and if you look at the top you see that there's actually a hole here because there's no line here to show that it's closed off which means if we had to draw that it would look like this so we're going to go from this point, two spots back, like that. And we will do the same from this point over here, two, two, dot, two blocks back. Okay. Then you're obviously going to have this point here, which you're going to see. And it can't stay open like that because it's a hole. And obviously it does still have a bottom. So you're going to draw that there. And then you are going to draw a line going across this line, three blocks, just like this over here. Okay, so it looks a bit funny now, 
it fights it will start to make sense once we draw it in a little bit more so let's just get these two blocks in like that okay so you'll see that these points here let me actually grab a highlighter and highlight it for you guys so you can see exactly where we're working so these points here that you are seeing over here is our sorry of these points right over here so this is currently what you are looking at on your drawing over there all right so now we obviously want to continue still and we are missing a line over here so two blocks because obviously that line goes straight down on the side over here okay so now we're going to draw a line going up two blocks because we know after these little squares there's two blocks going up so we've reached the back of the square and we are going to draw two blocks up okay so it should look like this the next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a line across like we did at the front here so a line across we're going to drop down by one block draw across by one block draw up by one block and draw across by one block so we will go drop i'm going to just draw it here as well drop again we will have a line over here and a line over here so this is what you have so far now if we look at the top view we've pretty much got that except we need these little blocks in now right so we have one block space one block like this and we will obviously close off these sections over here and it should look like this over here and then you're going to draw that down and because it's only got a height of one block you're actually going to draw a line over here okay so that is what your drawing is going to look like and this line over here should not be here sorry guys that was an accident of mine okay so that line shouldn't be there but to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of where your lines are what you are looking at these bits here are these bits over here okay and then i just want to grab more colors so that we can do this together and we can do all the little bits and pieces so then we have this block over here which is obviously this block over here we have already established that these lines are these lines over here we have this point here which i don't know if you can see that while well in the green so if you can't i apologize and <laughs> you're gonna have green over there and then the last one which will be the side view over here will be on the side of here and if you look very carefully the hidden detail shows where there's holes there's a dash line and it's on one block and that's because you can't see from the side that there's actually a hole happening here and that's why we draw a dash line the same over here we can't actually see that there's a gap and so they draw a dash line to show us that there is a gap okay so now we are going to move on to the second one okay so now we're going to do the second example here for you guys so again we have our top front and right view so let's start with our right view because obviously we know it is right on the edge so we will be able to see exactly where everything's supposed to be so we're going to start off by taking let's draw it underneath here okay so we're going to start off by drawing three blocks down so there we've drawn three blocks down okay we're going to draw three blocks across and once we've drawn three blocks across we are going to draw a block going up because we have a block going up here a block going across two blocks going up oh my goodness i keep starting in the wrong place okay ignore this let's do it here at the bottom okay three blocks going down three blocks going across this is also a lesson good lesson to be learned is that when you are drawing an EVB you must always um, look at your paper and 
make sure that your measurements are not going to clash with anything on the paper and that everything fits so learn from my mistakes don't be like me okay so there's our right view okay so as you can see let's color it in we've got this view over here which is going to be this view over here okay so now we're looking at the top view and we see there's two there's like a space and a space and it looks exactly like the front view and that's like a little bit confusing but i'm going to just show you a trick now i actually should have showed you this earlier but it's okay so if you ever if you're ever worried about where your measurements are going to go because you're not sure what you're going to do let's just half this quickly so that you get very accurate measurements so that you can see exactly what i'm doing and so that it makes sense for you guys and that's okay so sorry guys okay so now we're drawing in our 45 degree line and i'm going to explain to you why this line exists so we're going to take the 45 degree line draw a line like that all right so having a look at that you're going to have a look see okay so maybe you can't quite visualize where things are supposed to be on your views so here you're going to draw a line up i'm not going to draw a line too much up because i don't really want to confuse you guys but you see it touches this point of the 45 degree line so when you bring it across so it touches the line and then you bring it across horizontally do you see it's in line with the top view over here so we know the next step is draw three blocks one two three so what you're going to do is you are going to draw three blocks across like that and then okay now the next step you can kind of figure out okay if this is this line over here then this line is probably this line and this line which we already have over here so you can draw those two blocks then straight over here okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to cap it off and draw a line straight over here all right so now we're going to obviously look at the top view you see there's a line and then a line at the bottom so obviously we want to know where those lines are so if we bring this line up over here we see it touches the edge over here and obviously if we had to bring it across it would be this line here so now we know okay it's this bottom line going three across at this point over here it's like that sorry that was a bit skew and then we know okay but we also know given the front view that it's actually got a length of one so we can draw that line across and close it off over here so that we have this so far the next step would obviously be we look at the front we go okay to go down there's a line that goes across oh my goodness this is so skewed and then obviously we're going to finish it up over there there are no hidden detail lines on this one because from every side you can actually see all the points there's no hidden holes in the middle or anything that you wouldn't be able to see from this view okay so to kind of just color in your view so you can see what we're working with over here you'll see k okay, oranges at the top over here all right we've got green which is this bit over here so that will be this bit over here and then we are going to have colors like purple which would be this point over here and then let's do one last color we'll do blue blue is this color over here or this line over here so we know blue will be this one over here all right so that is a very simple explanation of isometric drawings i'll look at doing a little bit more complex ones with you guys but for now i think this will help you with your isometrics it's just a nice little short explanation on how you should be doing your stuff without having to worry if it's difficult so in your workbooks you guys can color in i mean it's your workbooks unless you're handing that drawing in for a or that page in for marking but otherwise color it in use different patterns so maybe you have a square and instead of using a highlighter you just want to use your pencil so maybe you make a pattern like this on the one and like this on the other one just so you can tell your different lines whatever helps you that's what you need to do